Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about the truth that he moved in. Yesterday we were talking about God not being like a big mountain, beautiful to look at at a distance, but not super interested in us. And we really didn't have to give anything at all to just look at him and admire him. He's so much more than that. He moved in. John 1 verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus came to dwell among us. He moved in. This is a cornerstone of our faith, and yet many fail to grasp the importance of this truth. God planned to move in permanently. He didn't show up to make a quick appearance and slip out the back door. Jesus walked the earth as a flesh and blood representation of our Father's desire to live with his people. As God's plan played out, Jesus knew his time on earth was ending. He promised his disciples that they would never be alone. He promised them the Heavenly Father would send the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. And although they didn't know it yet, the disciples were already familiar with the Holy Spirit. After all, he lived within the personhood of Jesus, and now he would live in them. The Holy Spirit wasn't going anywhere. He was here to stay, and he's still here. John fourteen sixteen to 18 and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him or knows him. You know him, for he dwells within you and will be in you. For he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, united in one purpose, to see God's intention that his creation would always know his presence. The practical application for today, just sit back and listen to these truths that the Lord gave me during a time of extended worship. He stands guard over us when we sleep. He is the first to greet us when we wake. In our times of joy and bliss, he dances with us. He is here with us in our loneliness. He brings us peace in our time of grief. He comforts us. He is with us when we seek solitude. He hides us in his secret place. He sits beside us in our play. He works with us as we toil. In our confusion and indecision, he brings us wise counsel and direction. When we are misunderstood and judged by others, he is our advocate. When we feel marginalized and forgotten, he tells us we were bought with a great price. He remains by our side even when we turn our backs on him. He forgives us. When we walk along paths, where we should not be, he is with us. When we hide our dirty faces in shame and guilt, he still sees us and still loves us. Even in our hopelessness, he is our hope. He rejoices with us in our triumphs. He strengthens us in our failures. In the face of our defiant ingratitude, he keeps on giving. He is with us at our birth and he will be with us to the end.